Okay, my mic in place. Okay. Welcome back, everybody, to another YouTube video. Today, we're going to be continuing the horror game series. Welcome to Horror Game Part 5. And today, we're going to be making some clues. And in the clue today, we're going to be making a piece of paper that you can interact with. And once you interact with it, um, it opens up a frame and you can read some stuff on it. This is to do with proximity prompt, and I actually have a video in my YouTube channel about proximity prompt, so if you want to go check out that video, make sure to go check it out. Anyway guys, without further ado, let's begin. Make sure you like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. Without further ado, let's begin. Alright guys, so we're back in the map. I haven't really changed anything from the last video. And do you remember last video we actually made a trigger, so when you click the trigger, the door opens. So what I want to do today is when the door opens, you see a note, and when you click on the note, some text will display. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and make this piece of paper that you can interact with. So what you can do is just go to the top here and click part, and then you should see something in your workspace a bit like this. And size it down to about A4 paper size. I would say something like that. Perfect. And now we can just change the material. I'm going to change mine to foil and I'm going to make it like proper white. Just like that. And now we can just take it and put it over on the desk. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly rename it to paper. Just like that. And now we're done with this. So what I want to do now is actually want to make a decal. And the way to do this is to go to your actual um, go to your browser and or if you have Photoshop just open that up and what you can do is just make a something a bit like this and um, don't worry I didn't type all of this I went to a website called Lauren Ipsum Generator it's, the link is going to be in the description so you don't have to um, uh, do it yourself um, just makes it a bit easier I guess to do this all you have to do is drag out a few text boxes I use Deja Vu Serif font but you can use anything you like and then once you're done with it just save it and once you save it to your computer go to the roblox um website go to create and then go to decals right here and it says here create a decal and now choose your file for me this is paper text the one right here and then you can change the name to whatever you like and then upload it and then once you've done that click on the decal and then you just want to copy this link just like that so for me, I'm going to copy this link just like that. I'll go back to the Roblox Studio. And once I'm back in the Roblox Studio, you want to go to Paper, add in a decal, click on the front surface, add in a texture, and for the texture, just paste in that link that you just got. Perfect. And you can see it's a bit stretched out and doesn't look right. What we can do is to change that, just scale it to what looks normal, just like that. And there we go, we've got our paper that looks really nice and really detailed so when the player walks up to it they see the paper and the writing they're not necessarily going to be able to read the writing but if they zoom in I guess they will but I mean the missing made is the only thing they're going to be able to read right so now to go into the scripting to do this all you have to do is inside the paper insert a proximity prompt and inside the proximity prompt insert a script and for the script this is what we want to write we want to write local sound and that's that's pretty much it we're gonna carry on with it later so well i'm saying that like that's it but no it's not so go to um your toolbox and where it's where it has this drop down go to audio and i'm just gonna search for paper scrunch just like this just search one that is good and once you find one that you like click on it and it should appear right there and now what we can do is we can do local sound is equal to script dot paper just like that and now we could go down and write local prompt is equal to script dot parent and then we can do local open is equal to false and now go down to and write prompt dot triggered colon connect to the function of player and then what all we can do now is go down and you're gonna do sound colon 
play. Sorry, make sure it's capital and then put two brackets after it. Now we can go down, we can write local player. Sorry, no. Local screen GUI is equal to player GUI dot paper GUI. And then what we can do is we can go on top of it and we can write local player GUI is equal to player colon wait for child and then you do bracket and then apostrophe not apostrophe speech marks player GUI because of that perfect and now what we can do is go down write local frame is equal to screen GUI dot um oh yes so I forgot that we actually need to make a screen GUI so what we're gonna do is go to start a GUI insert a screen GUI name it to no actually just keep it like that and then insert a frame and we can name this to missing made just like that and now you have this frame here Make sure the anchor point is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, just like that. And drag out again, once again, why is it open? And drag it out to about A4 piece of paper size. Perfect. So now all we need to do is insert a image label and drag it out once again to the size of the paper. And on this image label, we're going to put the thing that we made before. And also one more thing, make sure the border size pixel is zero. And in this image, we just want to go to the image here. And we want to insert the paper text. So once again, get the link, just like that. Go back to this and insert the link. And it should automatically um, put in the proper link for it. Because I, I, I just put in the ID, but that put in the proper link. Now just size it down. So ever seems right for me that's good and now we are done with this and close this off and just make the missing made frame invisible now we can go back to the script and we can write screen gui sorry screen gui dot missing made Perfect. And then we can go down and can write if open equal equal to false, then open equal equal to true. And then you can go down one more and write frame dot visible is equal to true. Else open equals false frame dot visible is equal to false perfect and one more thing don't make sure when it says open equals true make sure it's only one one equal sign perfect we are done with that and pretty much what should happen is when we click on this piece of paper this sound should play so guys go ahead press play and let's try it out all right, so we're in the game. As you can see, what from before, the dialogue plays. We've got our flashlight. I'm gonna go into first person. I'm gonna grab this key, just like that. I'm going to open the door, just like that. And let me try it again. But as you can see, I have no key. The door's not gonna open. But when we find the key, grab it, the door opens, as you can see, just like that. And now we can walk to the desk as you can see, the proximity prompt appears, and this is the moment of truth. <laughs> as you can see, we have an error, and it says paper GUI is not a valid member, player GUI. And the reason is, is because this screen GUI is not actually called paper GUI. So just change this to screen GUI. Let's play it again, and let's see if this works now. The reason
reason it's wrong is because once again we got another spelling mistake and I put three S's instead of two so that's a bit clumsy of me so if you made that mistake as well then just change that open the door walk towards a note and let's see what happens and there we go as you can see we press E and the sound plays and the and the frame appears as well and that's exactly what we wanted and I think that that's really good and I'm happy that that works so also if you press it again um, yeah, it actually closes which is quite good and I think it's really smooth so yeah congrats on that anyway guys thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed that video with horror game part 5 I'm sorry that this video took a long time to release because I've been quite busy with lots of stuff um, and also thank you for the support recently I really appreciate it and yeah that's pretty much it I hope to see you in part 6 hope you enjoyed the video I'll see you in the next one goodbye